Hello everybody, I'm gonna try to show you a little bit about what goes into putting these caps together. Now what I haven't showed you, which I will here in a minute, once I'm done with this glue, is what I do to prepare this for that. Put that down there. Now, you're gonna think, wow, how does he know where to put that at? Gee whiz. Well, I'll show you in a minute. This isn't gonna stick. All that does, ah, I hate it when that happens. I got stuff that'll clean that up, but anyway. Now I come in here and use what's left from putting that patch on there. To mark where the first coat, I do two coats of glue go. Now I'm gonna stick this up underneath the butt. Let me show you what I do so that I know where the middle of everything is. I'll take my patch, which is four inches long, divide it by two, there's two inches. So I'll come over here like, like this, and in my stitch groove that I've done, I'll just make a little mark right there like that. And do the same thing down here. Make a little mark down there like that. Now, I don't cut a stitch groove in it because my sewing machines are tuned up well enough to where they pull down tight. But I just use a compass like that to mark a stitch line. This has had time to set up, but like I said, I want to put two coats on it. And I'll sh you'll see why here in a minute. Not because it's going to hold that patch on forever and ever and ever. No, it's holding it on long enough for me to get it sewn into place. So now, let's put another little thin layer on here. Earlier, I used the business cards, not because I'm trying to get free promotionals, <laughs> but because it'll add some stiffness to it because you're going to have to kind of bend it to fit the form of the cap. So now I'm going to put this on pause. I'll come back to you in a minute as I move it for the sewing machine. All right, I'm back. Now the next thing we do is pop open those right there. These caps come with those. You want to make sure you don't sew through that. I've had this glue set up long enough to go ahead and get tacky. So remember my little dots I made? Those will go onto the seam. Right there. Right there. And then I look at that right there. That's about 5 sixteenths or 3 eighths. Now I come down and just flatten it out. Then my handy Folgers coffee cup or coffee uh, container gives me something to mash down on. Get that out of the way. So I double check to make sure it's square. That one's not. There, that's better. So now we'll come back with the coffee, cup, uh, coffee container and I wish I had a piece of wood or something that was carved out like that I could use. But if I ever get to where I've got so many of these to make, well, I will, I'll double check my dots straight on that line. All right, so now let's go to the sewing machine. Come on. All right, now, 
I like to start over here because you'll see why here in a minute. Come down here like this. Am I still recording? Yep. Okay. Get that needle lined up. Now drop your foot. Get your thread over there. So hold it in place and slowly stitch away. One thing you got to watch for is making sure your cap doesn't hang up on that machine there. And then you want to make sure your, your inside piece is out. So you don't want to soak through that if it causes people uh, a headache to, to rub on their skin. We're making it around the corner. Basically, you just take your time, make sure you stay straight, follow your stitch line that you laid out there. One of the reasons I start where I did is because the cap curves up toward the top. That you know they cut that to make that dome for you. Now here comes the fun part. You gotta go ahead and finish that stitch. Now come over here and just kind of kink it. So your leather piece is laying flat, which y'all can't see that because that camera's in a bad spot. But um, here, let me do this real quick. See what I did there? I kind of got it kinked right there. Come here now. And then I like to go about two or three more stitches over the original stitches to keep everything from coming unraveled. And there's that. Pull this out. Snip. And like that. And we just pop that out like that. Now we'll come to the next step, which will be this is called Resilin. It's a protective finish, which adds a gloss, makes it shiny. Oops, what the hell happened there? I like to use it on the edges as well. I've already got the edges 
buffed and fi um, finished, but all right, now this goes to dry. Toodaloo, buckaloos.